Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a pink look that I actually think doesn't wash me out because when pink got really big this summer after the movies and everything came out and um, I did a whole bunch of pink looks and they kept on washing me out and washing me out. Um, but this time it looks like it's actually working. So yay, Dean! So, um, to go ahead and start out with, as far as what I have on uh, for foundation, and yeah, it's later in the afternoon, so I'm not planning on going out, so I'm not doing the SPF today because I'm staying inside today. So I have the L'Oreal True Match in C 2.5, and so that's what I have on for my foundation. And um, during the summer, I actually really liked the C 2.5 color because, you know, I knew that I'd be getting darker and it worked. Um, I think probably I'll get the C 1.5 um, to go ahead and replace this one because, you know, in winter as you lose all your color from the summer, it's so sad. Um, so I did go ahead and use the MAC bronzer as well. Again, a favorite. And again, a light rosy radiant here. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the blush, is I started off with my Milk Makeup blushes. And this is full size from what I, yeah, these I got last year um, during their, uh, what is that, Black Friday. So I went ahead and picked up um, their little, uh, they had five of these in there. And so, um, yeah, they look like that. They're pretty much um, a flat mat. And as far as the amount of product that you get, yeah. so yeah, this is about it. And that's about as much product as you get. So um, if you're looking at going ahead and picking up that set, I know Milk has the set out. I think the product is absolutely wonderful. I like it a lot. Um, I just, the packaging is really, really small, and so, um, yeah, you might want to, if you're out shopping in Sephora or Ulta, um, I think this is Sephora, right? Uh, you might want to see if somebody can open up or open up one of their gift packages to see how big these actually are, because I'm 90% sure this is a full-size one. So, um... <clears throat> what else I did as far as the cheeks today is I did get a new Essence blush, the Berry Cheeks. And so that's what I have on as well. And then I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This one is in Candlelit. So I have all three of these on. And yes, it's a pretty... Uh, it has a lot of shine to it, and that's because of the candle lit. Um, so, yeah, really pinky color, but when they come out of the package, they're kind of like that, and um, you really have to blend them out to see what their actual color is going to be. So, yeah, pretty color. And uh, let's see, what else did I go ahead and do? Oh, I picked up the Revolution Me Love uh, Waterproof Mascara. And I think this is pretty new. It's not brand new, but um, it's new at my Walmart. So I went ahead and picked that up. And I used that as my base. And then their Long Lash Lengthening Mascara is actually a tubing mascara. So... I used this for my base mascara, and then I used this on top of it. And then as far as what happened with the lips here, um, I have the ColourPop. This is their Brink, and it's their lip liner. And then I went ahead and added the Hard Candy. Uh, this is their My Type, as far as their uh, Melt and uh, this is what their these lipsticks are called their melt and 
Yeah, she's supposed to be dupes for the uh, Maracuja lips by uh, Tarte. So if you want to try that, but you don't want to, but you're not sure if you actually want to invest in it, this or the Glowing Lips by ColourPop, either one of uh, these formulas are both said to be dupes for the Maracuja. And uh, they're a lot less expensive. You can try them out, see if you like the formula. And then go and get, yeah. So um, the Oma by Sharon C. This is what I have on the brows today. And then as far as the eyes, I have my new palette on. And this is the Culture 2 by Juvia's Place. And so I went to the fall sale for um, Alta. And this was on sale and I picked it up. And I just... I was so happy that I could actually go in store, see it, <clears throat> see it, buy it, and take it home instead of having to put in an order and going through a gazillion ads and honey and all those other things that want to get me a code, which I appreciate. Thank you. But I mean, it was so nice to be able to go to a store, get a pallet, and take it home. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not mad i'm just a little I hate waiting for the mail you know so anyway um i'm a little bit perturbed but anyway um i did go ahead and use this whole uh column here so this one right here that has all the pinks in it and these two i went ahead and used in the crease they're both matte this one i used on the outer corner this one I actually used as my eyeliner. Um, I did go ahead and use this one right here uh, as um, I started in the outer corner. And I used some of this on the outer corner. I used a little bit of this on the brow bone. Then I did go ahead and use this one on the lid. And then, which one? Oh, this one on the inner corner. So as far as the way that eye look came out, these are really pigmented shades and they grip. And I love that when you get an eyeshadow and it just like clings to <laughs> clings to your eye and you, you get to actually blend it. Yeah. Um, and so I, this is a really good formula. It just really is. And they have a whole bunch of palettes out there. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. I've only used it twice, but I already love it. Uh, the Garden of Juvia's in the summertime with all of the really pretty pastels. And most of these are duochromes. This is red and gold. This one is champagne and gold. And um, let's see, this one is gold and copper. And then you got some what is it? Purple and pink and a dark blue and silver. So a whole bunch of duo and multi-chromes in here. So if you want to go ahead and try them out without, you know, spending an arm and a leg, this palette's 25. This one's 39. You can get them at Ulta or on the Juvia's Place website. And so, yeah, I'm really liking these palettes. They're very pigmented to the shadows you know the grab onto your eye and you can blend them um, 10 times better that way and um, most of these uh, shimmers of swell are duochromes and um yeah with the indie brands the palettes tend to be really expensive because people want multi-chromes and duochrome uh, eyeshadows and the cost of you know the um, all the ingredients to go ahead and do that is, you know, up there. So if you don't know what you like as far as duochromes, you might want to go ahead and check out one of these. ColourPop does, um, these are single shadows. They run at about $12. Moira does some. But if you don't know, if you like the really, really sparkly shades, you might want to test them out before you invest in one of the huge indie palettes. And the huge indie palettes, they usually the quality is beautiful and, you know, the packaging is amazing. Um, but it's kind of better to, in my view, to know what you're getting. So, 
um, or at least have a good idea of what you're getting. So um, let's see, other than that, I did go ahead and use the ninth inning spray. Um, I really like the product, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. This now it's working perfectly, um, but the sprayer does catch on me occasionally, and so I I end up getting frustrated with it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to finish it out up. The product inside is really good. And let's see, what else did I do? Other than that, I think that was about all. But um, yeah, we're it's definitely football season. We got the chili going upstairs. And um, yeah, I, I like the look. It doesn't wash me out. It isn't one of those pinks where I have to go. Do I have eyeshadow on? But here, I don't. We'll do. So that's, again, the way that the look turned out. And you can see that it's pink eyeshadow and that, you know, and so <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think my haul turned out pretty well. And um, I hope you're having a great day. And I hope you're not getting overwhelmed by the holiday sets because I know I did. And I finally had to just sort of put it away and be like, yeah, I it, it, there's so much and it all just keeps on, you know, they keep on releasing stuff and you're like, ah. But um, that's one of the great good things too, because then you can, you have all sorts of stuff to try out and see if you like it. And yeah. So um, again, uh, I think that's the video and I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.